Hey y'all, I'm super excited because I know that I'm going to absolutely blow your minds and I got to start, even though he told me not to say that he's amazing, Dave Sotomano showed me how to do this and completely blew my mind. All right, so what are we doing? Let's say you have two data sources, one of which is a Google Sheet and then the other one is like, uh, I don't know, something up in BigQuery or a native connector or something like that. The top data source has events only sometimes. And in this case, we've got algorithm updates that only happened eight times during our target date range of July 1st through January 21st of this year. And there are a lot of dates where there are no algorithm updates. On those dates, there are null values for algorithm updates. We could also think of this as like, conversion actions that are in Google Analytics or something like that. And if we wanted to then create a blend between these two data sources, these events would not work inside this time series chart because of those null values. So how do we get it to work? Well, the first thing we're going to do, and, and trust me, this is awesome. You select this chart, you then go blended data and we want to edit it and we're going to add our algorithm chart to it and the thing that we're doing is we need to make sure that our two data sources are joining on date and then we're going to add our update name as a dimension and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a field and this field that we're making is really neat it's um, nary max and we're going to call this calc update and the reason I'm calling it that is just to give it a name and the nary max what it's going to do is it it uh, out of the box what it enables you to do is let's see if this will allow me to dra drag it up it returns the maximum value of the things that you put together so the first thing that we're doing is account distinct i.e. we're trying to count the distinct times that an update happens on a specific date and we know that that values out of the box is going to be either one or null or zero so if if we have an update on a specific date we'll get a number of one and on days that there are no updates would get a value of zero okay so then what we do is we hit apply, we then come over here and we hit save, and then I'm going to close this cool window, and then I'm going to do some neat stuff to get it to all work just right. I'm going to drag my calc update over here as a metric. I'm then going to come over to style, and I'm going to turn that calc metric over into a bar from a line so that I get these kind of bars and then I'm going to put it on its own axis on the right and then we'll notice right away that we get some weird stacking you know the bars are just different heights so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change it from a sum and I'm going to go to count distinct and it'll take a second Who's ready? Huzzah! I've got a blend of algorithm updates and click data on the same chart. How cool is that? Boom!